Hi friends, today for our toolbox lesson, we're gonna be learning about the taking time tool. And the phrase we remember for that one is I take time in and time away. So the idea of this tool is that sometimes we need to control and regulate ourselves. When we have strong emotions, sometimes we need some time to cool down, explore our choices, especially when we're angry. And that's what my book is about today. It says when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry. Okay. There's two different types of taking time. You could time in and you could time away. Time in means taking some time to check in, to see what we need or what we're feeling. It's an opportunity to think things through, cool down. Don't always have to um, remove yourself from a situation. It's usually more self-reflecting, looking in on yourself and thinking, wait a second, what am I doing right now? I need to check in with my brain, with my heart, with my body. Okay? Time away is when we need to physically remove or distance ourselves from the heat of the conflict. When we're really angry and we can't control our bodies, we actually physically time away. We move away from someone and we really think about um, what we need to do to calm ourselves down. And instead of being reactive, we want to be proactive in taking ourselves away, having permission to remove ourselves from that situation, and really think about then our time in. So you take it away, you time away from it, and then you have the moment where you can take your time in time, think, reflect, and then come back to the situation ready to fix whatever's going on. Okay, so this is a great tool to use. Um, and the image for this tool is a wristwatch. And for example, you might not see your, all of your parents might not wear one. Um, it used to be much more common that people would wear a watch like this one. And it tells time on here. And in first grade, you guys are going to learn how to tell time with these two hands is what these lines are called. They're called hands. One shows the hour and one shows the minute of whatever's happening. And so right now I'm videotaping this on the Wednesday, the 12th, and the hour is pointing to the five and the hand is going up to the zero. So it's five o'clock or to the 12, I'm sorry, which represents zero minutes because that's the beginning of the circle. Okay. So it's five o'clock and it doesn't really matter what time it is, right? Because when we're talking about taking time, it doesn't mean you're taking an hour and 22 minutes and I got to watch that on my clock. Okay. That's not what it means. It means that you're just taking any amount of time that you need to calm and reflect and come back to yourself. So the idea of a wristwatch or a watch is to just remind yourself, so I'm going to take time. So take two fingers or just one and tap your wrist. And if you don't have a watch, right, you just tap your wrist like this. And that'll remind you, oh, I'm going to take time for myself. I'm going to go time in or I'm going to time away. Okay. So that's our movement for our toolbox tool. Now on my card, I also added um, some things where I want to take time. So sometimes it's also about managing your time. Um, so I said, I do first things first. Um, so you should never, um, you know, uh, uh, push someone away from you until you use your words first, right? If someone's coming up to you and you're feeling like your personal space is being invaded, right? The first thing you do isn't shove them out of the way, right? You do first things first and you use your words. And if you can't do that, then you take your time, right? You time away yourself. You walk away from that person, think about the right thing to say, time in, come back, and then you do the first thing, right? And use your words first. You also take time for yourself. That's the time in, right? Where sometimes you need to put yourself first and you need to think about what you need um, and you make sure you take that time to check in, okay? All right, friends. I think we're ready for our story to get more ideas about this whole idea about taking time. So let's learn about Sophie. This story is called When Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry, and it's written by Molly Bay. When Sophie gets angry, really, really angry. <laughs> All right. Sophie was busy playing when her sister grabbed Gorilla. My turn! Oh, but she was playing with it. And look at their faces on these pages. 
really show their emotions. Remember, this is Sophie. No, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It is her turn now, Sophie. As her sister snatched Gorilla away, oh, Sophie fell over the truck. She wasn't listening, huh? Oh, is Sophie ever angry now? Oh, those eyebrows. She kicks, she screams, she wants to smash the world to smithereens. She roars a red, red roar. Sophie is a volcano ready to explode. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry, pa bam she runs. She runs and runs and runs until she can't run anymore. Then, for a little while, she cries. Now she sees the rocks, the trees, and ferns. She hears a bird. She comes to the old beech tree. She climbs. She feels the breeze blow her hair. She watches the water and the waves. The wide world comforts her. Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down and heads for home. Chirp, chirp, tweet, hoo, squeak, squeak. The house is warm and smells good. Everyone is glad she's home. I'm home. And look how nice she looks. When she left, she looked really different. Look at how she looks when she's coming home now. Everything's back together again. We even got to work on a puzzle together. And nobody's playing with her gorilla right now. And Sophie isn't angry anymore. Wow, what a beautiful painting. Purr, the kitty goes. And everyone's happy again. Hmm. Interesting. What do you do when you get angry? In this story, when, Ang when Sophie got angry, she kicked, she screamed, and she wanted to smash stuff. And she roared, made huge noises. And then she ran. What do you do when you get angry? Maybe you do some of the same things that Sophie does. But did you notice? that the last thing she did was a good thing. She took time away, right? She moved away to, in order to calm down. And when she came back, she was ready to be with other people. She wasn't angry anymore, all right? So remember, time in is a time to listen to your inner voice and figure out what you're feeling. Time away is when you move away from what's bothering you that person, that activity, or that situation, and get enough space in order to do that time in. Okay. What are some good times to do a time away? So let's think about that. What are some good times to do a time away? I'm going to have to get a swatch picture there for you guys. Okay. So time away, that's when you're really angry. So I'm going to do a, a red one for that. So for time away. What are some good times to do some time away? And then after that, we're going to think of our time in times. Okay. So time away, maybe you feel like you're going to hurt someone. Right? She felt like she was going to, remember she um, was getting really angry. She was roaring and maybe she was a... Um, gonna push her sister or something. She felt like she was going to, or she was so angry that she was thinking about doing it. Maybe when you feel like you're going to explode, 
Remember, she had that feeling where you can't control, right? You feel like you can't control anything. Maybe you do explode like she did with a big roar, right? You can still time away after that, okay? Maybe when you keep getting in fights with your sister or your brother or your parents, if you keep arguing and yelling at each other, okay, maybe it's time to walk away and go calm down. Sometimes, even just if you're overexcited and it's hard to control yourself, um, sometimes you get really excited and you're just like, oh my gosh, I want to tell everyone everything and I can't even, and I just can't hold it out and I barely understand me now because I'm just so excited. So sometimes you just have to go in a corner and take deep breaths. <sighs> Go into a calm area, safe place, right? And get back to kind of that normal green zone, right? Where you're ready to share and be. All right. What are some times, good times, that you could take a time in? Yeah, maybe if you're fighting. And fighting means more in this one. It means verbally with words. You're fighting with your words. And maybe for a second you need to stop and think. And think about your heart. Think about what you really want. So maybe your brother really wants to play this game and you really want to play that game. And you're fighting. You're like, no, let's play this one. No, I won't play this one. No, you're stupid. <gasps> oh, wait a second. That wasn't what I wanted to say. I'm going to take a time in. I'm going to think to myself. Okay, I'm sorry, brother. That's not what I wanted to say. I'm sorry I said that. I really want to play this game. Maybe we can play yours and then we can play my game. Okay. So that's taking a quick time in where you have a moment to reflect on what you said or what you did um, or what you're thinking or feeling, and then you're able to turn that around. Okay. Maybe you're feeling grumpy. Maybe you're feeling sad. Maybe you're feeling mad and you're not sure why. If you're not sure why, that's a great time to take a time in and reflect and take the time to figure out what's going on. Maybe you're fighting with a friend. You're having a disagreement or argument with a friend or a sibling or a parent. Okay, those are the best times to have a time in because you don't want to hurt them, right? You want to come up um, with a way to for everyone to be happy, right? For ever, to be a win-win situation, okay? All right. So remember, our tagline for this is... I take time in and I take time away. You can also say I use time wisely, okay? And you can in and away to help with these things. All right, friends, we're gonna take a moment. We're gonna do a little reflection, meditation uh, to end our taking time tool time, okay? So go ahead and find a comfy place. Put both feet on the floor, your hands on your knees or on your desk. Sit upright with your head balanced easily. Let your eyes gaze on one spot or close them. Take three slow belly breaths with one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Let's do those together. Remember that you can use time to help you. You can use time to slow down. You can use time to stop before you react. Notice that you have two kinds of time. Time away helps you get away from things for a little while. There's time in so you can go inside yourself and feel what you're feeling. Think about what you're thinking. Go ahead and take another breath. And when you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes and bring yourself back to the room, fully awake, aware, and ready for what's next. So friends, I'm going to send a little, um, you guys can make your own taking time tool at home. And then you can also do a little activity with your um, parents or your siblings uh, to help you practice using this taking time tool so that you're ready when you're in a situation where you might want to be time away or time in. And you'll be ready and know how to do it. All right, thanks for joining me on our Taking Time Tool today, friends.